Um, hi, my name is Anika Kadak. Um, I studied at Oakridge and I studied psychology. So today I'm going to be talking about the importance of time management and um, stress management, especially because you guys are in um, eighth grade and it's very important to manage and make sure that you're um, taking care of your studies and everything. Um, so starting off, time management. Um, time management is extremely important, especially in the next couple of years. Um, the ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade. During this time, you will need to make sure that you keep in routine and you focus on time management. Um, if you're like most people. Stress levels are closely tied to how you manage your time and it is important to focus on this. And when you are to do this or the list of things you have to do, especially during the school year, it is a lot. You won't be able to focus or prioritize what you need to. And um, how many of you here, just raise your hands, how many of you, you here feel stressed during exam times or during the week where you have a lot of things to do? That's quite a lot, basically all of you. So I'm here to tell you how you can make sure that your stress is less. Um, so in time management, in order to maintain your time, especially during the week or during the school year, it's important to make sure that you are able to prioritize what is important to you. And especially in um, in the subjects that you're lacking in. So, for example, if you find math hard or physics hard or maybe like even economics, spend more time on this subject and make sure that you're able to understand what you're learning. Also, when you break up the concepts and um, break up the chapters and then study it on a daily basis, you'll be able to do more and you'll be able to. Um, get better at the subject, which makes you, which helps you to manage your time better. Um, along with that, when you have motivation in these subjects and when you understand these subjects, you'll be able to do better and this will lead to less stress, especially in, um, in like the subjects you're not so great at. Um, so a lack of motivation, this also leads to more stress and when you're stressed, you're not able to concentrate on your subjects effectively, which is why prioritizing your time is extremely important. Like I personally wasn't the great at math, which is why I have to give, give more time to math in order to get better at it. So the same way, it's important to make sure that you um, break up your chapters and divide your time equally. Um, also, don't wait until the last minute to like start studying. I know a lot of us do that, and I think, um, think that it's important to um, stop procrastinating um, because then you won't end up getting towards it, and it'll yeah, you'll just not feel like studying. So it's important to make sure you manage your time this way. Um, also, to, um, it's important to set small goals when you're studying. So when you're studying, try to make sure that you um, know what is important and what is due the latest. And by doing this, you'll be able to understand that what you have to do first, and this way you'll be able to divide your time. Also, your teachers are there to help you, so are your counselors and your parents, so if you're stressed, it's also important to have, talk to them and be, because they are there to help you and guide you, so it's important to do that too, especially if you're stressed about like exams or things you have to do, because I know how stressful these years can be. Um, the next important thing for time management is routine. So basically, it's important to eat well, sleep well, and exercise as well. And pulling all-nighters, surviving on a poor diet, um, getting minimal amounts of sleep, these are all um, tasks which can affect your concentration as well as your performance. And you should try to avoid doing these as much
much as possible. Um, especially all-nighters. All-nighters are extremely um, bad for like when you're studying because they can affect your concentration and you won't get effective amounts of sleep to, in order to study properly. And make sure you're getting eight to nine hours of sleep, enough carbs, and more water and less caffeine. The more you eat negatively or um, concentrate less on your health, the less you're going to be able to do well in your studies. And this will then impact your performance. It will also affect the way you manage your time because you won't feel motivated enough to do whatever you need to do or study properly. Um, so it's important to try and sleep and get up at the same time in a routinely manner. And this way you know when to start studying, when to wake up, and when you need to do things you need to. Um, and it also helps the quality of your sleep so you'll be able to focus. The next part is organization. And organization is really important in order to manage your time. So basically, I'll start off with this quote, a cluttered desk is a sign of a cluttered mind. And so in order to effectively manage your time, you need to declutter your desk and make sure that your room is organized and you are able to concentrate within your room or wherever you study. Because this will help you to make sure that you're able to concentrate. So um, the more clutter you have around your desk, or the more like random objects you have around your desk, the less you're able to concentrate on preparing for the exams, because these objects often distract you and you won't be able to focus. So, um, and you'll often be distracted and random thoughts, and you won't feel like studying. So the less stuff you have on your desk, or the more organized your room is, the better it is. Um, in order to reduce this um, clutter or distractions in your room, use drawers or like store away things in your drawers or your closets to make sure that your desk is less cluttered. Um, as you can see, this is um, before, and in the before picture, it's there's a lot of objects and you won't be able to concentrate because you'll constantly be thinking about one object or the other. Whereas in the after picture, if the desk is clean and you'll be able to focus on like your textbook or your laptop or whatever it is you need to study. So, and um, by keeping your desk organized, you'll be able to study effectively and because this is because psychologically, Physical clutter overloads your brain and it impairs um, your ability to think, which then leads to stress. So in order to effectively time manage, manage your time, reduce as much clutter as you can around your workspace. Another habit which is extremely important in order to manage your time as well as routine is eating healthy. Healthy um, students are also better learners, and research shows that eating healthy and um, healthy habits are connected to academic achievement and improved memory. So the better you eat and the more you eat properly, the better you'll be able to study and effectively concentrate in your studies, because you'll be able to remember better. Um, eating healthy has also been linked to higher grades, um, better memory, and more in faster information processing. So you'll be able to process information or learn better. Um, so being healthy should be part of your overall lifestyle. Um, and a healthy diet for students is extremely important. Um, because it gives them the energy needed to um, perform various sports and physical exercise. The next um, point, which is extremely important as well, and I personally find this important, is when you're making a routine, you should also make time for exercise. So this way, um, you know that you will have time to enjoy and um, have fun. How many of you like sports? So that's all of you, mostly. So as you know, it's extremely important. And all of you have fun playing sports too, right? 
like cricket or basketball or all of these games, right? So, for those of you who don't even like sports, um, during setting your routine or during studying, taking a walk or like going downstairs, walking around, at least for like 30 minutes, is extremely important because it helps you to concentrate better and it will help you to focus as well. So it also reduces stress levels and this is will help you to study more. Um, so a tip that I, I, I strongly believe in is you should do some form of exercise that is a, a enjoyable for you and you should do it for at least 30 minutes. So when you're setting your routine, you should try to incorporate um, exercise as well. And this will keep you motivated and not, don't spend all of your time playing sports or outside, but at least like an hour or 30 minutes should be there. Um, so along with this, setting small daily goals and focusing on consistency is extremely important as well. So you're able to prioritize what is important to you and what is not. And um, finally, if you don't enjoy any form of exercise, you can always try to concept, I mean, relax by distracting yourself with music, audiobooks, or podcasts. So even so you have some way to focus on something else and you'll be able to concentrate on your studies afterward better. By taking these small breaks, um, you'll be able to study better and you'll be able to um, learn what you're um, trying to mem memorize or me remember better. Some extra points is that get sunlight every day. This helps a lot as it increases your serotonin levels and serotonin is a neurotransmitter which keeps you healthy and happy. So by increasing these levels, your stress levels would also be reduced and you would be able to um, study and manage your time better as well. And by sticking to a routine and sleeping around the same time each day, you'll be able to um, uh, manage your time as well as you'll be able to study effectively and you'll be able to concentrate more. And all of these things go hand in hand. So along with routine, organization, a healthy diet, healthy um, sleep patterns, all of these are extremely important in order to, for you to effectively manage your time. Um, another tip to help you when you're feeling stressed or you're not able to do stuff or concentrate well is by doing deep breathing exercises and a lot, this goes along with walking and exercise as well. And by doing these, you'll be able to concentrate on your studies a lot better. Thank you. Um, that's the end of my presentation, but thank you. We have multiple subjects in our schooling and sometimes we are given projects or notes and all have the same due dates, which is within one or two days. That time, how do we prioritize it or work for it to the subjects that you struggle the most at, you should try to finish those first. And, um, the, or you could go the other way and the subjects that you find the easiest, try to finish those projects first so you get them out of the way and then focus on the ones that you struggle at or you find hardest. So that way you'll be able to give them more time and you'll be able to do your project like properly and you'll be able to concentrate on it. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, so I personally don't like to go out for exercising and like sports. So do you have any alternatives that I can do to relax? You can always listen to like music or like, like I said, podcasts or what, I mean, if you want to, you can watch like a show at least for like a short break time to just to help yourself relax. But you can't get like lost in watching shows and all of that because I know how addicting they can be. Uh, so I, I just wanted to like ask you that is do you think meditating is a nice alternative or like should we do something active? Definitely meditating is if you enjoy meditating and if it helps you relax then you should definitely go for meditating or even like taking a walk whenever you feel like stressed 
even if you don't like going outside, um, all of these things like so help. And if it helps you to get less um, stress, then you definitely should. Thank you. Um, hello. So, uh, like before the exam, uh, like like around thirty minutes before the exam, like do you, like, <laughs> like like there is exam anxiety. So, how can you like before the exam, you can think positive and not panic that much. Well, for me personally, I wouldn't sit next to my friends or anyone because I know I would get like more stressed with sitting with them and or like I would sit and try to like remember as much as possible. But um, also you, sh some people also say that like don't read your textbooks before an exam and all of that because then you will forget what you won't remember. But it depends on like what you personally feel. So like if you feel more stressed reading a textbook or like sitting with your friends, then don't. But if you also feel better like reading a textbook or like walking around or all of that, you can do that as well. What would be your opinion on tuitions? Do they reduce stress or make us more stressed? <laughs> um, it depends on you. If you feel that it's like helping you and you're able to learn better, then yeah, it does. But I took tuition because I needed help, extra help in math that my parents weren't able to help me in, nor my teachers were. But that depends on you too. If you find tuition helping you, then you should like continue with it. So the thing is, I do sleep, uh, sometimes I do sleep for like 8 hours letting the sufficient sleep. Though I feel drowsy throughout the day and uh, you said you should not drink, uh, uh, consume caffeine. But I think that's the only source that is helping me doing my homework. Like I drink coffee and I complete all my homeworks. Like could you explain this? I mean, ca caffeine does increase anxiety. Caffeine also does like make you more nervous and everything. So it does have negative effects. So as long as you're taking like less amounts of caffeine, then it's fine. But like if you're taking like a lot of ca uh, if you're drinking like a lot of coffee during the day, that's not exactly like healthy and you should reduce on that.